Kugelblitz, or a black hole made out of electromagnetic radiation. In theoretical physics, it's a concentration of heat, light or radiation in a small enough volume so intense that its energy forms an event horizon. According to general relativity, if enough radiation is aimed into a tiny region, the concentration of energy can warp space-time enough for this region to become a black hole. Although this would be a black hole whose original mass energy had been in the form of radiant energy rather than matter. In simpler terms, a Kugelblitz is a black hole formed from electromagnetic radiation as opposed to matter. In 1955, John Wheeler, one of the pioneers of the theory of black holes, coined the term Kugelblitz, which in German means ball lightning. He suggested that if enough pure energy could be focused into a tiny region of space, that energy would form a microscopic black hole which could be described by the equations of modern physics. For a penny-sized Kugelblitz, it would require 3.865 times 10 to the 33rd power joules of energy. That's 118 days worth of the energy that the Sun produces. For example, you need only 8.5 million joules of energy to run a 100 watt light bulb for one day. We can also use a gamma ray lasers, one billion times stronger than the current hypothesized ones. A single pulse of this laser would need to equate to the energy produced by the sun in one tenth of a second. But there are problems with creating a Kugelblitz. Cramming so much radiation into such a tiny spot would create so enormous temperatures that it surpasses the Planck temperature, the fundamental upper limit of temperature conceivable under current models of physics, which is the temperature of the universe just 5.4 times 10 to the minus 44th power seconds after the Big Bang. At this point, the physics as we know it don't work, and it's quite possible that a black hole may not form as it is also limit of gravity. Such a black hole would nonetheless have properties identical to ordinary black holes. According to the Nohair theorem, black holes are completely characterized by only three externally observable parameters – mass, electric charge and angular momentum. All other information about the matter which fell into a black hole disappears behind the event horizon and thus is unaccessible to external observers. This means that there is no means we can tell whether the black hole had been made of ordinary matter, antimatter or radiation. It seems unlikely that there are any natural processes going in the universe that could create a Kugelblitz black hole. Maybe it was possible at the very beginning of our universe. Primordial black holes are still being researched, however, the non-detection of these made them less popular.